Hey Westwood, welcome back. How are we doing? Um, we're gonna do a little soccer game lesson here. I'm gonna teach you guys a few games that we can do at home. So instead of just practicing our skills, it'll be a little more entertaining for us, okay? Um, liven things up, all right? So I have a shooting game I'm gonna show you. I have a obstacle course, like a little so soccer obstacle course I'm gonna set up. And a couple juggling things, okay? Um, what we need for today's lesson is your ball, soccer ball, or any type of bouncy ball. It doesn't have to be a soccer ball. I need you to get an extra pair of shoes and four, four articles of clothing, okay? So, pair of shoes, four articles of clothing, okay? And that's what we're going to need for this lesson right here, all right? Um, we're gonna warm up, stretch out a little bit. It won't take long. Um, also, if you have a wall, I have a wall. I cannot see those numbers. Anyways, there's two pieces of paper up there. I tape to my wall, and they each have the number three on them. Okay. Um, if you guys have a wall and you want to do that, you can go ahead and do that. Also, that's something else we might need. If you don't have a wall like that, then you're not gonna be able to do that, obviously. Okay. So don't worry about it. All right. Um, so yeah, let's just warm up real quick, do a couple stretches, camel stretch, hold it for 10 seconds, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, do your trunk twist, washing machines, alright, let's do some sit down stretches today. Feet out, go down to your right, grab your right, keep your knees straight, 10 seconds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, middle, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, feel the hamstrings stretching right there. All right. Um, let's do the quad stretch. Put one leg here, lean back, hold it, feel the quad. Ten seconds go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, other way. Lean back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so we got our quads. Um, let's do the butterflies, all right? So right here, push down, 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten all right we call it the butterfly because we make our our knees legs look like our butterfly wings okay um so that's why we call that stretch the butterfly and that stretches out our growing all right um you know i got some videos sent to me of some kids trying to do the whatchamacallit so i found it awesome and um, quite entertaining so i'm gonna go over our whatchamacallits real quick um for our warm-up so we get our, our blood flowing um, I just want to say this, when we do our whatchamacallits, there's a rhythm to it, okay? So when we do the first five, when we do our jumping jacks, we count a little faster than when we do our scissor kicks and hops. So the rhythm, say we're doing four, it's one, two, three, four, then it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? So our jumping jacks, we count a little slower. And then when we do our scissor kicks and our hops, we count a little faster, okay? So try to keep up with the rhythm of the exercise, okay? Um, so let's do it. We'll do, um, let's just do five, okay? All right, so five whatchamacallits. Remember, jumping jacks, we count faster, all right? Ready, here we go. One, two, I'm sorry. Jumping jacks, we count slower 
scissor kicks we count faster. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, one, two, one. One, one. Okay, so if you notice, jumping jacks count a little faster. I'm sorry, slower, and our scissor kicks and hops count a little faster, all right? Um, all right, let's do a couple more, just the flamingo. Make sure we're nice and loose today, because we're gonna be running, all right? Hold that, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do this one. Ten seconds, hold it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we should be stretched out and ready to do this, okay? Um, first thing we're gonna do right now is we're gonna do a shooting game, okay? I need you to get your three articles of clothing and if you have two pieces of paper, write the number three on them, tape them in the corners like this. We're gonna act like that's the corners of the top part of the goal, okay? Take your clothes, put one here, one in the middle, and went on the side, all right? So, can you guys see that? Uh, all right, so, I'm sorry with this camera angle, it's, I had to scoot it back so you guys could see the top. Um, Anyways, three articles of clothing, space them out about two feet. Uh, we're gonna pretend like those sh shirts on the corner are the corners of the goal. Remember when we're shooting, trying to score, we wanna aim for the corners. The goalie's usually in the middle, so we wanna shoot for the corners of the goal, so they have to reach. It's harder for them to stop the ball. Um, so here we go. The shirt in the middle, right in the middle, that's gonna be worth one point if you hit it. Um, the two shirts on the corners on the bottom, those are going to be worth two points if you hit it. And then the shots up here in the corners, top corners, those are worth three points if you hit it, okay? Um, I forgot to teach you guys yesterday how to chip the ball, all right? Um, when we want to chip the ball, meaning we want the ball to go in the air, okay? Uh, you have to kick the ball at the bottom of the ball. Okay, don't kick it in the center up top. You gotta get under the ball to like chip it. Okay, so our foot comes. And when it comes, we're hitting right at the bottom of the ball. So when we hit it, it's gonna hit kind of the ground and the ball at the same time. And it's gonna chip it into the corner. Okay, so it'll look like this. Remember, put your plant foot about half a foot behind the ball, step, and I'm gonna chip towards the bottom of the ball and that should help elevate it, okay? Looks like this. Put your little run up, run up and get Okay, run down and I'm just chopping at the bottom of the ball. And I'm gonna stop my foot when I hit it and it will chip it, okay? Watch. That one hit right on the number three. If I was playing the game, I would have got three points for that, okay? So, when we chip the ball, like I said, boom, hit the bottom. If we wanna cross it and go in the air, your foot should follow through the ball. When we're just chipping for a shorter distance, your foot stops at the ground. So just boom, it chips, 
and the ball will go up. Like I said, if you want to cross it, go swing your foot all the way through at the bottom of the ball, but we don't have room to do crosses, okay? Um, just chipping, all right? One more time, watch. Run. Mm. That one wasn't so good, but uh, you guys get the idea, right? So hold on. All right, so forgot to tell you guys, you need a timer. Um, so I need a stopwatch or, or some type of device that you can time yourselves with, okay? So with this game, we're gonna do a minute time limit, okay? I'm gonna put my marker, this is my shoe. That's where I'm gonna put the ball every time I go to kick it. All right, so we're gonna work on chipping. You're going to work on placing the ball. So when we place the ball, remember, we want to use the inside, inside of our feet. All right. So turn your foot. You're going to be kicking it like that. Okay. Not the laces on this one because we're working on accuracy. All right. So we're wanting to place the ball. All right. So shirts on the bottom corner are worth two. The shirt in the middle is worth one. The upper corners are worth three. I'm going to do myself just one minute time limit. I'm going to add up my points. However many points I have at the end, that's going to be my total, okay? And then you guys can do this at home and you can see if you can beat me, all right? So, give me one second. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna give myself one minute. Everyone give yourself one minute. Try to hit as many of those targets as we can. All right, um, put my ball on my marker. And I want the marker a little to the side. I just want it even with that so I don't run up and trip on my trip on the shoe, okay? Um, all right, does everyone have your, your timers? You ready to do this? Who's gonna beat me? Probably not going to be too hard to beat me. I'm a little rusty. Okay, so all right, you guys ready? Timer ready? When I press that timer, I'm gonna start. All right, ready, set, go. All right. Oh, that's one point. Okay. Oh, no points. Oh, that went on that one. So that's another two points. I got three points. Zero points. Zero. So I have three. Okay, that's a two pointer. That's five. Oh, that's a one pointer. That's six. I got 20 seconds left. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Let's go right foot. Nothing. I better get some points. Oh, that's two. That's eight points. I got three seconds. Last one. Oh. Timer's on. All right. All right. So what I get? I think I got eight. Is that what I said? I forgot. So. All right. See how it works? Okay, very simple way we can do that. Time ourselves, okay? And you can make the points worth more than one point if you wanna change up the numbers where you get different points for different uh, targets you hit, you can do that too, okay? Um, but with that one, one in the middle, two on the sides because they're harder to hit. And the ones up top, I don't think I hit anyone unless that last one barely hit it, but I'm not gonna count it, okay? So eight i think was my score you guys gotta beat me okay um another way we can play this without timing ourselves is we just give ourselves let's say 10 shots okay i get 10 chances however many points i get with those chances that's my score then you can compete against whoever you want friends parents all right so we're gonna do it that way right now i'm gonna give myself 10 shots see how many i get that way okay 
Where did my ball go? Uh, ah, there it is. So when we do it this way, we can kind of take our time. We don't have to rush it, okay? Uh, the other way, we're getting a little bit of a workout running around, so that's good too. Um, but this one, you're gonna concentrate a little bit more. 10 shots, okay? Choose wisely where you're gonna aim, all right? Obviously, chipping it in the corner, a lot harder than the ones on the bottom, okay? Chip shots a little hard, all right? But that's why we practice, okay? So now, I'm gonna give myself 10 shots, okay? Let's see how many points I get, all right? Here's shot number one. I'm gonna challenge myself on the first one. Nothing, zero. Shot number two. Okay, I hit those shorts right there, so I get two points for that one, all right? And that was my second shot, all right? Third shot. Mm. So that one went right over the shorts. If it goes right over, it still counts as long as it's in line with it, okay? Um, so yeah, if it just bounces a little bit and doesn't actually hit them, as long as it hits on top of them, okay? Three points, I believe. I'm, getting, I'm confusing myself. I'm pretty sure I have three and I've taken three shots, okay? So, here we go. Shot number four. And I have a score of three, okay? Zero. Fifth shot. No. Alright. I still have three points and I'm on my sixth shot now, alright? One more chip. All right, shot number seven, and I only have three, all right? I'm gonna try another one. Ooh, missed it. All right, going on shot number eight. Ooh, missed it again. Two more shots, and I have three points. I think you guys are gonna be able to beat me. I'm gonna try my right foot on this one. Alright. Oh. Last shot. My last shot, and I'm gonna just try to get the point here, alright? Alright, ready? Ooh. That one bounced over the shorts right there. I know it's hard for you guys to see. But trust me, that one made. So um there you go that would be five points i got 10 shots and i got five points okay um so that is one way we can practice our shooting and our kicking okay uh, make a game out of it um another thing we can do i'm gonna do an obstacle course in a minute but something else we can do if we have a friend someone to play with you only need one person is you can play two touch against the wall okay we all play two touch at, at recess. It's a pretty popular game. Um, just remember two touches. You get two touches and then you have to kick it against the wall, okay? So it really helps us work on our trapping and our passing, okay? So for example, that's the wall. I'm playing against somebody. I kick it. They get one touch, two touch. And then the next person would get one touch, two touch touch it next person boom okay if you take more than two touches to kick the ball against the wall then you're out that person gets the point or wins um and if you kick it and it doesn't hit in the area of the court uh, the square part on the wall you got to hit at least inside that area if you hit outside of that then then you're out doesn't count okay so two touch kick the ball against the wall very self-explanatory each person gets two touches with the ball um, that has to hit the wall okay uh, a lot of us know this game already because we play it at school okay all right i'm going to set up this little dribbling obstacle course that we can do so you're going to need your shoes and your articles of clothing okay 
Alright, I'm gonna put one shoe here. Can you see it? I'll make sure you can see it. One shoe here. All right, good. So if you can see, why is it so hard to see? All right, so all I did here was I put my four articles of clothing in a line. Uh, we're gonna zigzag dribble through those, okay? Then you want your shoe, both your shoes, Cross maybe three or four feet from the last shirt and from the first shirt. All right, so these are the line one, two, three, shoe right here, and then with your last shirt, one, two, three, that's where you line up your other shoe. Okay, um, yeah, so four shirts one shoe even with the last shirt on the other side okay and i'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this i'm gonna go real slow uh so when i say go start here first thing is dribble zigzag every shirt once you get here we're gonna do this you gotta with your feet you have to scoop the ball over with the top of your feet, all right? Once again, going forward. All right, so it's... Okay. Once you get to this shoe, you're just going to dribble to the next shoe with your feet. Once you get here, you have to kick it off the wall five times. So five, one, two, three, four, five, okay? Ready? My younger students, three kicks, catching it. If you are a vet student or a little older, then I want you to do three juggles, okay? So, one, two, three, and then you are finished, okay? So, zigzag, top of the ball, dribble, five shots off the wall, top of the ball going backwards, three juggles. And then you're done. One more time. Dribble through our shirts here. Here we dribble. Oh, I forgot something. Oh, never mind. Start over. Hold up. Dribble through. Here is our steps. Here we just dribble straight. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Step overs. One, two, three. Three juggles at the end, and then you are finished, okay? Um, so. You guys can set up two of these and race against somebody if you have somebody to race against. If we don't have someone to race against, we have our handy timer so you can race yourself, okay? So every time you do it, try to beat your own time, okay? And uh, I'm gonna do this for 
time myself to see how long I can do it for. And then you guys can race me at home, okay? Um, this one, we just need a stopwatch. All right. When I press start, that's when it starts and then that's when we go, okay? When I say go, press start, and then we go, all right? I'm gonna see how long I can do it. That one took me 24 seconds to complete, okay? Um, you guys are beginners, so the ball might get away from you, so it might take you longer, but uh, that one took me 24 seconds, okay? I'm gonna do it one more time, see if I can beat my old score, and then see if I can get a better score, so it's gonna be harder for you guys to beat me, okay? So, one more time. Two seconds, okay. Uh, so I was able to beat my old score by two seconds. First time I did 24, that time I did 22, okay. And there you have it soccer obstacle course, and that's just one way you can do it. All right, um, one other thing we can do is we can play mini goal soccer, all right? So once again, you need someone to play against. All we need for that is we just make two goals, okay? Let's see, goal here. All we do, use our shoes, that's a goal. make another goal on the other side the same size and you are literally just playing one-on-one -on -one soccer okay and the way you score is if you kick it between the shirts the person going this way has to score the ball has to go between their shoes all right it's called mini goals because we want mini goals because it's only one-on-one -on -one. you can play two on two if you have enough do three on three um but it's a great way to just play a small game of soccer without having the big goals in the net, okay? Just make two small goals with any type of object. And now you can work on your moves, all right? Good way to work on your step overs, your outsides, your cutbacks. Any soccer move that you know, this is a great way to practice going against someone, all right? Um, so yeah, simply just playing mini goals. And all we do is that is we just make two goals and, and battle each other, okay? I used to do it all the time when we were younger in the backyard. Real easy way, people go to the park and just use a trash can as the goal. Um, you can do that too. Um, so another way that we can play, play some games at home to keep things more interesting, all right? Um, I think I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, 
remember juggling you can just do juggling games on your own the best way is just try to get a higher number the highest number you can get all right so if your high all-time number is 15 we're just trying to get higher than that okay you can also practice juggling by just doing like things like just on one foot so just try to keep it up on one foot okay all right other foot I'm much worse with my right foot because I'm left footed, but I always practice right. All right. Just trying to keep it up on one foot. See how many times you can hit it up in the air just using one foot. Try to beat that number. Use just your knees. All right. That's not so good. So we're just keeping it up with just our knees see how many times we can keep it in the air just using our knees um, like I said don't use your heads we don't need to be doing headers yet okay and then you could also go from one foot every time you have to go so that you're switching feet every time okay you can do different variations on your juggling um, to get better okay um, so yeah, some things we can do at home, a couple games we can make, keep things more exciting. You guys, boys and girls, rock. I'm tired and sweating, so I'm going to go now. But uh, yeah, that's soccer for now. I might have a couple other things, but look, uh, look out for the next lesson, okay? I'll talk to you guys later.